Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video guys, we're going to be creating a custom block inside of Minecraft Bedrock. So to do this, the first thing you'll need to do is go down in the description below and download Blockbench. Once you guys have downloaded Blockbench and opened it up, this is what it's going to look like. You guys want to go to the top left here and click on File. Then you guys are going to click on Plugins. From here, you guys want to look for the Minecraft block wizard and you guys want to install it just like that. Then after installing it, scroll down a little bit, go to where it says new and come down to where it says loaders. From here, you're gonna click on Minecraft block wizard and we're gonna click on create a block. Then we're going to go through all of the setup of the block, such as the names, the preset, the properties, design, loot, and then obviously customizing it to how you want it to look. So we're going to set up a block here. So I'm going to make a half oak slab. So let's type in half log just like that. And then where it says my name down here in the identifier, you're going to type in your name or a nickname or anything like that. But do remember your identifier for later on when we get back into the game. So now we're going to select a creative category. So because mine is going to be a log, we're going to click on nature or you guys can hide it depending on if you want it to be in the creative category or not. Then we're going to go and select a category it's going to group with and I'm going to click on logs because again, it's a half log. From there, we're going to click on next and then we're going to select a preset from here. So I'm working with a log. So I'm going to set up the preset for the log. Now, if you guys are working with glass or a glowstone or if you're creating a flower or some sort of ore or a block that can't be mined like bedrock, uh, you guys can select up here or you guys can select a log if you're trying to create something like I am or you can select a lectern if you guys want an interesting shape that you can put books on. But again, you guys can select any other presets here. We're going to be clicking on log. Then we're going to click on next and you've got a bunch of different properties here that you can set up so you don't have to work with any of the JSON. Blockbench will do that for you. So for the rotation, you guys can click on the drop down here and select the rotation that you want for your block. So you can either have no rotation, so it'll be exactly how the block is. You can have cardinal like a furnace so it will face the player however you are placing it but you can't place it obviously looking up or looking down or you can have it like a piston where it can look any direction up down north east south and west um, or you can have it like a log where it can place depending on where the player is facing so we're going to click on pillar now the collision because we're making a slab here we're going to click on slab but you guys can select a fence post a flower pot carpet or no collision or just a full block collision if you're making a 16 by 16 block but i'm going to make a 16 by 16 by 8 block so that means we're going to be creating a slab so our collision box is going to be slab now the selection box uh, i always do same as collision but if you guys want something different then obviously you guys can do that as well but I'm going to click on same as collision. Now the selection box is something that you're going to, when you look at the block, it's going to have that box around it, that little um, black box. Um, so like, you know, when you're going to uh, use an axe on a, on a tree, uh, you obviously press LT and you can strip the log. Um, that little box that you see around it, if it was a half slab and you tried to strip it, Obviously, if it's a full box and you're trying to strip a half slab, it's not going to look very nice. Um, it's going to look off and you're going to be able to press LT in the air. Um, so obviously, yeah, just make sure you select uh, the selection box, the same as collision, if you want it to look a little nice, uh, a little more nice. Um, now, you guys can select whether it's mineable or not. If it is mineable, you guys will be able to set up a destroy time. I'm going to make my destroy time 0.2. Now, this does not um, include creative mode destroy time because creative mode is instant. This is obviously depending if you're in survival or not. But if you're in survival, then you guys can set up the amount of seconds it takes to destroy. Mine is 0.2 seconds, but you guys can set this up to 5, 6, 10, even 100 if you want it to where, you know, it, it takes forever to destroy. As you guys can see over here, 
this will be a little animation of how long it will take. But I'm going to put mine as 0 0.2. Then we can have destructive by explosion. You guys can turn that on or off. If it is on, you guys can obviously set up the resistance. But I'm going to turn mine off here. But if you do have it on, you guys can set it up to where it's glass, where it's obsidian, where it can't blow up, or whether it's stone, so it takes a while. So, you know, it can, it can take a lot of TNT to blow it up. But I'm going to turn mine off, and then we can set up some friction here. So my friction can be either like soul sand, where it will slow us down when we're walking, or it can be like ice, where it's absolutely slippery, it's got no friction whatsoever. But we're just going to make it normal for now which is 0.4 friction. Now we've got a thing down here called flammable. So because it's wood, we're going to be leaving flammable on and we're going to leave it as the normal flammable um, options, which is obviously the percentage of catch uh, to when, it, you know, if it's going to catch fire or not, when there's fire near it, that'll be 5%. And the fire destroy chance will be 20%. So that is it. We can now click on next. And now we can set up the design for shadowing and lights and also transparency in the map color. So this is where it comes down to like the niche sort of things. So obviously we've got the face shadowing and we've got the ambient occlusion here. This is just to do with shadows. So if you guys want nice shadows on the blocks, you guys can obviously leave these on or off depending on what you guys want your block to be like. You guys can have it emit light if you really want to, or you can have it emit no light or just some light, depending on if you want it in the middle or not. Um, but because ours is a log, we're going to set it to zero. If it was glowstone or a light block, then obviously you can set it to a light level of 15. But I'm going to set mine to zero. And then we've got light dampening. So um, is light going to pass through it? Is it not? Um, if it was glass, obviously light dampening will obviously be a little less, uh, but because it is a full block, we are going to be leaving that as 15. Then we've got the transparency of the block. So if you're making something that has um, like a door, for example, with uh, glass on it, or if you're making a window with a frame, so the block's like half transparent, half not, I would recommend using blend. Um, or if you've got a load of different see-through parts and a load of different solid parts, I would recommend trans uh, alpha test, which is a little better than blend. Um, you guys can mess around to see which one you guys like the best, but I would recommend alpha test as it's been the least buggy with alpha test. But because we are making a solid block with no transparency, we're uh, going to be uh, clicking on opaque here. So we're going to click on that. Then we've got the map color, we're just going to set it as a bright red, but you guys can obviously understand what this does. When you look at a map, it's going to show what it is and what color it is on the map, but you guys can set that up to whatever you guys want. And then the sound is going to be what it's going to sound like. So because mine is going to be a half oak slab, we're going to set it as wood, but you guys can set it to be glass, grass, cloth, metal, stone, all that sort of stuff, but we're going to set it as wood. Then we're going to click on next. Then from here, you guys can select custom loot. So you guys can add pools if you guys want to make uh, lucky blocks, if you guys really want to do that. Or you can set up default loot, which is going to drop the block itself when you break it. So I'm going to set up default loot and then we're going to click on next. Now from here, this is where you can ask block bench to either put it inside of a pack that you already have. You can export it as an MC add-on, which means you can share it with your friends. Um, or you can export to folder, which means that Blockbench will create a pack for you. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click export folder, and then we're going to set up the pack name. So I'm going to type half logs, just like that. And then we're going to type in the pack authors, which is going to be soulless. And then if you guys just want to select an image, or your pack, you guys can do that. Or if you want Blockbench to create one for you, you guys can leave it blank. Then you guys can click on next. And this is where you guys can mess around with the shape and texture of your block. So I want mine to be a half slab. So we're going to half the oak block. Um, we're gonna put it from 16 height to eight because that is half. 
And then we're going to mess around with the texture a little bit here. So we're going to add uh, some red dots in the corner. Why not? Doesn't look that great, but why not? We'll do it anyway. Um, and obviously, you guys can mess around with the texture here all you want. But as you guys can see, we've added some red blocks and we've made it half. Now from here, if you hold control and then press S, as you guys can see, we've got saved as half log dot geo, just like that. And then we can open up Minecraft and apply the pack to the world. So guys, here we are inside of Minecraft. If we go down to where it says add-ons and click on resource packs and then click on my packs, you guys can see we've got half logs right here. So we're going to activate that. And then if we go to behavior packs, you guys can see we've got half logs right here as well. So if we click on that and click activate and click OK, then we can click on play. And that will load up the world with the resource pack and the behavior pack that we've just created inside of Blockbench. Um, into the, it'll add it into the world. Now from here, we're going to open up the chat and we're going to type give at s. And then we're going to remember what identifier was. So our identifier was soulless half log. And as you guys can see, there it is, our custom block inside of Minecraft. And again, it is acting the way we want it to as you guys can see we can place it down we can uh, build with it and make some really uh cursed um buildings um because we're not really supposed to have um sideways half slabs um but as you guys can see we've got it because we've made a custom block inside of minecraft so that's it guys, that is how you guys create custom blocks inside of Minecraft Bedrock using Blockbench. It's super, super easy to do as you guys see. Um, but if you guys mess up along the way, then just keep on re-watching this video. You'll get the hang of it eventually. It's super easy and I hope this helps you guys create many different blocks and many different things. Uh, such as the entities. So if you uh, guys want to make entities with Blockbench, you guys can check out the video in the top right. But anyway, guys, if this video did help you and taught you how to make custom blocks inside of Minecraft, then please do leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see more of on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another upload of mine. But anyway, guys, it's been your boy Soulless. Don't forget to stay soulless. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.